What's up everybody? Welcome back to the gym. Uh, there's a lot of things right now in terms of our training that we can't do. Let's focus on some things that we can do. We're going to practice getting better at jumps, having better, higher, more explosive jumping. As long as you have gravity, you can practice that. Here we go. All right, starting with a warm up, we're going to begin with some standing calf raises in place. Focus on pushing up, squeezing your heels off the ground. Hold there at the top for just a second. Get those calf muscles engaged, moving, get some blood pumping in there. After you do 10 of those, we're gonna turn those into just some standing hops in place. Still focusing on using uh, those lower leg muscles to drive your toes through the ground. Get a little bit of a hop. You'll do 15 of those. Follow that up with 10 squats. Just regular squats in place. Maybe a little bit slower than you would normally go. So feet flat on the ground, knees apart, back nice and straight. So after 10 squats, we're gonna follow that up uh, with a little bit of a lunge complex. So standing, step out, nice long step, deep lunge. From here, you're gonna focus on driving your hips down and forward, leaning your upper body back a little bit and getting a good stretch in your hip flexors. Since we're doing jumps, we wanna focus on hip extension. So it's important that we not let our hip flexors and those being tight impede our hip extension. So we're going to make sure to stretch those out. From there, you're gonna leave your feet where they are, sit back, point your toe up at the ceiling, and then just reach forward. And you'll get a good stretch there through your hamstring. So I'll show you that on the other side and I'll kind of go real speed. Okay, you'll do five of those on each side. After that, we're gonna follow up uh, and finish with um, kind of a modified um, single leg Romanian deadlift. But basically what it looks like is standing up nice and tall in place. You're gonna lift your heel up as you dip your chest down and forward. Focus on your hips driving this movement like so. Squeeze your butt to make that happen. This is just gonna get a little bit of balance activation, a little bit of stretching those hamstrings again and getting that posterior chain working, all right? You'll do 10 of those on your left side and 10 of those on your right side. Now we're warmed up and ready to do some jumps. Okay, our first jumping exercise is going to be some uh, plyometric style tuck jumps. So for your tuck jump, you're just jumping straight up in the air and then you're driving your knees up uh, and uh, getting that tuck position. And as you come back down, you're focusing on landing well and absorbing a little bit as well. Um, that landing is, again, almost more important than your jump in terms of like uh, injury prevention, okay? Uh, but we're gonna do these a plyometric style, meaning we're gonna kind of bounce into them and use our muscles stretch and contract reflex uh, as a uh, advantage for height and explosiveness. So here's how this works. Starting uh, in place, you're gonna begin just with a couple of little bounces, and then we're gonna find a rhythm of two bounces, and then on the third one, exploding into that tuck jump. So just start and train this a few times just to find that rhythm before we get into uh, our actual sets of these. Here's what it looks like. One, two, three. Okay, so you have two little bounces and then one tuck jump. Bop, 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 like that. Once you've found that rhythm, take a little rest, catch your breath. You wanna be fresh for these, so between sets, give yourself 60 to 90 seconds of rest. We'll do four sets of these and we'll do six reps. Now a rep is gonna be that two bounces followed by that one 
jump, and you'll count each of the jumps as a rep. Okay, so I'll, I'll take you through one set right now. Four, five, six. Okay, so that is one set of six jumps. After that, 60 to 90 seconds of rest, and you'll do that for four total sets. I'll put all of these numbers uh, at the end of the video so that you can uh, remind yourself and check it out there. Okay, next we're gonna do a variation on those tuck jumps. Uh, this time side to side or laterally. So I'm going to use a chair uh, as a way to uh, give myself some sort of frame of reference for jumping over. Uh, you do not have to use anything at all. Uh, and certainly this is, this is not a height that's gonna work for everyone. Uh, if you do decide that you wanna use an object to jump over, um, that can be whatever height you feel comfortable with. Uh, I'm just going to use this for demonstration purposes. So for this, you're going to just be standing in place. We're not doing any hops. Jumping as high as you can over this or over whatever your uh, highest imaginary obstacle is. And then landing on the other side, once again, paying close attention to that landing uh, in that you're absorbing that impact. Okay, so a lateral jump over. For these as well, we're doing sets of six jumps. Just three sets though, and once again, 60 to 90 seconds of rest between sets. For our next jumps, we're going to do exactly the opposite of our plyometric jumps. So this time, we're gonna take all of that kind of like bouncing uh, explosiveness out of it, and we're going to make you jump from uh, one of the least advantageous positions um, that you can take. In parkour, we do a lot where we are using our momentum. We are doing plyometric type jumps. Um, however, it is, uh, it's not beneficial to uh, only train in that way. We need to also mix it up uh, and uh, get some of those joint angles and uh, some of those jumping types that we don't ordinarily hit. So for this, we're going to do a bottom out jump. Uh, now. Starting in kind of that squat stance. You're gonna come all the way down kind of as far as you can. Still staying with your feet flat. Not completely to the bottom where your muscles have relaxed, but up just a tiny bit. So this is the position that you're going to be jumping out of as low as you can. So you're gonna come down to here. You're gonna wait two seconds, count two seconds, and then you're going to jump and explode out of that bottom position, getting up in the air as high as you possibly can. Okay, it looks like this. We're doing just four jumps for a set of these, three sets of them, and once again, give yourself uh, enough rest, something around a minute. And we'll finish up this one with an exercise uh, that has a really excellent uh, balance and stability element to it. Uh, so the way this one works is you're going to do a tuck jump, you're gonna jump as high as you can up in the air, and when you come down, you're going to switch to just one leg and try to land and balance on just that single leg. This is an awesome exercise for your jumping power as well as your balance and stability. Um, but one other benefit that it has is it trains the coordination uh, and the sequence for a broad jump into strides, which is uh, a movement that we do uh, in parkour runs um, relatively often. So uh, for that, you'll be taking that broad jump evenly off of both legs, getting both legs as involved as possible um, to, for maximum power. And then you're gonna switch in the air into your strides like this.
So this exercise is really awesome for developing the coordination for that movement. Uh, it looks like this. Once you land on that single leg, really fight to keep your foot in place and not hop around, uh, but rather try to hold your balance. So we'll do three sets of those uh, with three on your left leg and three on your right leg as one set. So there you go, that is today's workout. Uh, if you're feeling really good after a round of this, rest for five to seven minutes or so, do the whole thing over again. Um, and then keep in mind that we have all sorts of other workouts and videos as well right now. So if your legs don't feel up to doing jumps today, uh, mix in something else. Uh, and then there's also all of the kind of throughout the day movements that you can be doing as well. Definitely those stretches uh, to combat the effects of sitting all day, really important to be doing all the time. Uh, something like handstands, make sure you're doing those throughout the day as well in, or in order to improve. Um, so do your jumps if you want to, if you don't save it for another day. Good luck with this one. If, uh, there's something you'd like me to touch on as far as a workout, leave a comment on the video or shoot me a message and I'll get to it. All right. Hope you guys are continuing to stay healthy and I will see you tomorrow.